Nick. Nick? Yes. Okay. Did you see him the whole time he was off his tube? Yes, I did. And I could see him. He was over there, and then he came back over, and then I just heard screaming. This is real! This is real! Oh, my God! Is Nick known to carry, does he ever carry a weapon with him? He had a knife in his pocket. Well, we got some stuff to work out, okay? Okay. Because it was more than just some injury. It was a pretty serious event that happened. Telling us, please help us. This guy's a pedophile and he won't leave us alone. He just yeah, crazy. he just started coming to everyone. And, and then, so, how many people got hurt? Uh, I was told at least three. No, this is not happening yet. No, this is not happening yet. No, a guy just stabbed three people. A man's intestines are falling out of his body. <laughs> On July 30th, 2022, a group of teens swimming in the Apple River noticed a 52-year-old man allegedly making inappropriate comments towards one of the females in the group. Daddy, you look looking for a little girl! No. You're looking for a little girl? Yeah! A physical altercation between the man and the teens ensued. However, things would quickly turn for the worst. Because after being pushed over by the teenagers, the man pulls out a knife. And shortly after getting to his feet, the man goes to attack. Nikolai Miu, the man with the knife, would go on to take the life of 17-year-old Isaac Schumann and injure four others in the process. One of the victims, A.J. Martin, was cut so bad he had intestines protruding from his body. Panic erupted, blood stained the river, and witnesses flooded county police with 911 calls. A man's intestines are falling out of his body. Oh, okay, stop, stop, stop right now. What's going on? Uh, I'm on Apple River. Apple, Apple River in Wisconsin. Police rushed to the scene, but the damage had already been done, and the attacker, Nikolai, had fled the scene. The race was now on to apprehend Nikolai and determine what caused him to commit such a horrifying act. This footage has never been seen. Viewer discretion is advised. I'll peek it this way if you peek it this way. Sir. Yep. They're doing CPR right now. If we could launch a boat here and get up there, that'd be awesome. Suspect went into the woods at the initial location, a quarter mile upriver from the 64 bridge. Did he go up on the north or south bank? South bank. He went up right here? They don't know. Okay. No one knows. Okay. That's, they said this region. They don't know exactly where. Okay. Are you three all witnesses? <laughs> Friends of one of the victims? Or? All of them. The all of them? Okay. I, I just saw the video that the dude. Oh, okay. You haven't, you didn't see it in person happen though? No. Okay. We, we were floating. We caught up to those, those that group of kids. Okay. And the guy was harassing them. I'm and so I wanted to stop it before. I was worried they were going to hurt that guy. Okay. You know, I was worried they were going to gang up on him. She went over there to try and defuse it. He punched her and then started. He just yeah, he just started stabbing everyone. And, and, and then the other group tried to stop him. And, and, and what do you look like? He was like probably this big, 250 pounds beer belly. He was wearing a chain. He, like, he was kind of bald. He was it stereotypical so sleazy bad. Russian. That's what he looked like. First saw him, he had scuba goggles. Yes, clear goggles. Scuba goggles on? Okay. 
Now that the officers have a clear description of this man, all hands go on deck to find him immediately. As such, officers send up multiple thermal drones and shut down the area until his capture. The hunt is on to find this ramped killer. I'll turn it off to stop saying up here. Hey, you guys people. Uh, start roaming, roaming perimeter on this road. Uh, 30 year old, 30s year old white male. Uh, black shorts. Do you have the picture? No, no, you guys have Not yet. I'm waiting on the picture. I'm white male, about 30 years old. I went down, there's a campground down here at the river. I notified all of them to get off the river. Okay, what's his name? We, uh... I don't think we have a name. Okay. I don't think we do yet either. Just start roaming this. However, it wouldn't take long to find Nikolai, as a witness noticed him and threatened him with a baseball bat to wait for officers. Our current witness says that the male appears to be wearing a camel-colored shirt. Hands in the back. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just being okay. detained at this point, okay? Yes. Yeah. 36 dispatch, believe we have the suspect detained. Believe we have the detained at the time. No. No weapons or anything like that? No. 36 has a possible suspect detained okay. at 1649. What's your name? Nick. Nick what? Nick Mew. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. He's got a silver it's, chain. It matches. On silver block chain. Yeah, so like I said, sir, you're just detained at this point, okay? We'll explain anything in a second here. I'm still coming to Virgin. I'm just getting for Baldwin. And I needed The guy with the baseball bat was just responding to the to the sighting. Can you step up for a second? We just want to check you out. Are you injured at all? No, other than my butt. They're injured and scratched. Your butt's injured? Well, from sliding all over the stones. All oh, the rocks? Yeah, all right. and my hand, just, I think. Okay. I, take a look at your hair. Yeah. Now that police have Nikolai apprehended, they can bring him to the station and begin investigating what happened. However, as Nikolai is about to leave the lake, he says something that would change this investigation completely. Somebody, I hear somebody got stabbed. Um, and I fit the description. Yes, you do. All right. Yep. So we're working through that now. Did you see that fight on the river? I heard about it. You heard about it? Yeah, and I seen people gather around. Okay. All right. And I went over to talk to see if somebody saw anything, but that's about it. Okay. Uh, our whole group was pretty uh, interested in finding out what happened. Okay. And that's your whole group over there? The jail? Yeah. Yeah. No, Ted. Did you see anybody injured? No. You didn't see anybody injured? No. Did you see anybody fighting? I heard people screaming at each other, yes. Okay. Screaming in anger or screaming in pain, do you know? Everybody's drunk, so I don't know. I can't tell the difference, but I would say... I don't know. Just screaming. Okay. You know, you know calling each other names. You know, that's... Seen that all day. We've all been drinking a lot. I'm sure they're drunk. I'm sure they're... Kids being kids. Not only does Nikolai completely deny that he was responsible for the stabbings, but he pretends that no one even got hurt. The video recordings from the stabbing clearly show the attacker's face, as well as the chain Nikolai is wearing right now. Regardless of what happened during the altercation, the fact that he feels the need to pretend to be completely innocent will downplay any of his future statements. Regardless, Nikolai will be transported to the St. Croix Sheriff's Office, where he will undergo an intense interrogation. But for now, police need to speak with witnesses on scene to try and better understand the story from the point of view of those who saw it directly. Can you tell me, I guess, what you saw to the best of your recollection? When we got about 400 yards from here up there, there was a group, small group of kids. They looked like kids. Um, this guy was harassing them. We was they were pointing at him, telling him to get away. Yeah. Two of the boys ran away, got up out of our two two of the girls did. They went over and tried to get him away from them. And she moved over and punched Madison in the face. Okay. And, and then the other boy hit him back as soon as he punched her. The guy pulled out a knife and he just started just stabbing people that were around him. Okay. We were just chilling and then we saw this older guy start harassing these younger teenagers and we're the type of people to not let that happen because they're young. So we tried to stop him and he punched me in the face and then went 
literally crazy because all the guys started tagging him because he punched me in the face. So he took out a knife and he just started stabbing everybody and that's what happened. Everybody was just, it's all because he punched me in the face. That's like why everybody just got stabbed. If, if you're thinking by that statement that it's your fault, it most definitely is not, okay? We were floating down the river. We came, we, we caught up to a group of kids sitting in their tubes with an older guy standing over. How old do you think kids were? The kids were high school kids. High school kids. Isaac was part of that group. 